Welcome back everybody for another package opening video. Today we've got a really cool package that just came in the mail just the last week actually right after I finished it editing up my last Glios build video. If you haven't seen that go check it out. Originally I wanted to include this package in with that Glios build video because this package was sent over to me very graciously gifted to me by Grim Elementals. We used a head from Grim Elementals in the last Glios build video. It came out super dope, super cool, which is why I wanted to pair it with this package, but it came in just after I wanted to release the video. So I'm making a special little quick package opening video today so we can look at all the new stuff from Grim Elemental's new drop. There's some really fantastic stuff in this drop. It looked insanely cool. He's got such nice detailed sculpts in a lot of his designs. He has the Glios connectivity with the switch pins involved with all these two, which are, in, it's just super dope to see what he's been coming up with. And I'm just a really big fan of all his really cool creative Glios heads that he actually sells on his store as well. I've gotten several of these. In fact, I wanna do more Glios build videos around these heads, but he just dropped a new one that I was absolutely stoked for. It fit the Halloween theme as well. And he was able to gift me one of those along with a few other goodies that uh, I'm gonna go check out with this package. Now his drop was very successful. So a lot of the stuff that I've been showing on screen might already be sold out. It did go pretty quick, but there still might be a few things available left. And I know there's plenty of heads to go around on his store still. So if you want some really cool, unique, creative Glios heads for your own custom builds, make sure to go over to his store, check them out and support them. Now let's go check out what we got in this package. All righty, let's see what we got in this package here today. I'm having the guest appearance of the last little Glios build video. If you haven't checked out that video, go check it out. We are using a Grim Elementals head here, so I figured it was notable to put it in the video since we did get this package in. Oh, see stickers. I see all sorts of stuff. Let's definitely check out these stickers. Let's see this box of Grim crap. Yes, he has awesome boxes of crap or bags of crap bags of crap that's right this isn't a box it's a bag i got a bag of crap from him before it was really fun i believe that's how i got this head i can't quite remember but it was a bag full of all sorts of goodies and head pieces different glass heads really really dope here's the logo grim elementals that is pretty sick i love his logo it's very very cool looking very metal and then we've got a couple Ooh. These are dope. These are really neat. I need to know the artist behind these. These are some fantastic art. I really like this one a lot, actually. That one is quite unique. And this is like some, some kind of like bug insectoid crazy monster dude. Very cool stickers, though. I like it. But let's check out. Oh, let's get out this first package here. Ooh, okay. All right, all right. Oh, okay. I'm going to save that one, I think, for the end. But let's check out this guy. I need to remember the name of this guy. But he looks really sweet. Check out the detail on this. I think it's a fire elemental or something like that. Demon elemental, dude. He is so cool. He actually does have posability in him, too. Really, really dope. I love that. I mean, this guy is kind of like a miniature size. It would be fantastic to do some kind of paint job on or something. It looks really sick. I think I commented on one of his pictures of this guy when he was showcasing him off. And I was like, dude, this guy reminds me exactly of like the, one of the Doom guys from Doom Eternal. One of the Doom Demon Lord dudes. He looks pretty freaking dope like that. Let's check out the backside here. He's got the little rock element going on. Very dope. All the spikes, all the little flames and everything. I mean, my mind is... Uh, racing right now with what kind of colors I could use for this guy. I think I might do something really crazy with them. Maybe put some purples in there or something. You know, I gotta go purple. Purple demon flame monster. And we do have something right here, but I wanna check out this. Let's check out this one. Let's get it out. Oh yes. Boom, look at her. This is the incinerary queen. She is freaking dope as hell. Look at this. I, we need more females in the Glios first. I will say that. It, it definitely, we need to have more. We've got the, the one female, the Mia Mama, Cyber Mama or something like that. And she's pretty cool. And I don't have any of her actually, but we definitely need more Glios females. I mean, look how sharp 
and dope this looks. It looks amazing. She is connected with the Glio switch pins. She's got, I think like 18 parts of movability here. A little stiff in some of the joints, but that's okay. She's been just sitting in the package and whatnot. Let's take a closer look at that dope, dope headpiece. I mean, right? That looks fantastic. I love the look of her. She looks really sweet. Got the classic little switch pin back piece. You can add some wings or something to her even. And she's even got this cool little kind of like bone weapon thing. Give me some. There we go. Cool bone weapon. She can actually hold that. It looks pretty dope. We'll see if we can fit that into her hand. All right, I got it in. That was, uh, that was a tight fit. I did not want to break her. She feels fragile. I mean, these are so elegantly made with so much detail and so many appendages and parts that come off of it that it's just i don't want it to break i don't it looks really sweet again another one that you can just totally paint up and look amazing i mean it stands nice and tall it's got to be bigger than a fade in where's my franken fade in dude fade in frankenstein dude yeah there you go there's a little height difference on those another really cool part about this build as well it does come with an alternate headpiece which is excellent. We've actually got the female headpiece, which is, oh my gosh. I mean, come on. It's got a ponytail. It's got all like the hair going in it as well. Superb, superb. Don't want to break it. Got to be gentle with it, but I do want to put the headpiece on so you guys can look at how it looks with it. I mean, come on, right? That looks freaking awesome. I love that. That's so nice. It's such a nice, unique headpiece that you could throw on any glass figure really if you wanted but come on i mean this just looks phenomenal on this body type and everything with the armor looks superb i said superb already i gotta figure out a different word sublime Do you just hold on for one second oh okay sublime i don't know i have to think about that you got to quote the Barbie movie a little bit. I'm trying to see what other parts bend. All right, we got our ankle part here that bends. We got to loosen her up a little bit. We got the legs that go up and down. We got the torso that moves. Shoulders, uh, looks like the arm moves in a couple different ways. And then do the hands move too? It almost looks like they could, but I'm not 100% sure and I don't want to break it. So I'm going to wait on those, maybe warm it up a bit and then try it. I don't know if this one's still available in the store. He did sell out pretty quickly on a lot of his other figures, but if it is, go grab one of these because it is very unique and very cool. I'm going to put the demon armor head back on. There we go. I like that one a little bit more. I do want to use this on something though. I'm going to have to figure out what. Oh, I found something else. Okay. Look at this. We got a little amphibian head. I think this is the actual Seattle head or something like that it's I mean come on it goes perfectly like on an armivore or something I'm gonna have to throw this on one of my armivores it is giving off that killer carp vibes type thing really really subtle simple design in fact where is my armivore dude I have one that I want to throw it on and just show you guys how it looks I even got like a little gray armivore here so it'll match up quite nicely look at how perfect that fits on an armivore body that is hilariously fantastic. I <laughs> it's so goofy looking, but I love it. It's got such character to it. And you know, just giving a different vibe to the armivore. It looks really, really cool. We'll keep that headpiece right on him for now because I want to showcase another headpiece. It looks like we got one more thing in here. We do, we do. Okay, this was the main reason why I wanted to try to get it in the other video from the other day, the build one. Uh, but it, unfortunately it came in after I was done editing. But just check this pumpkin head out oh my gosh that is incredible in fact we're gonna do a zoom in on this thing so you can really really just appreciate man when he when he put this out there on instagram i was just blown away i was like holy crap dude you're getting some crazy crazy detail on this man oh the teeth the mouth is all carved in crazy nice and just got that huge stem oh my goodness it's fantastic i love this guy i cannot wait to paint him honestly i can't all right axiotl head you're gonna get taken off really quick because we're gonna pop him on the armivore because whew, oh man oh man look at that oh my goodness it looks incredible the look of this armivore with that head is going to be amazing. I mean, it just so happened that I had a gray one out, so it matches perfectly, but you got to paint them up, throw them on one of the other ones too. I have been wanting 
to use the Grim Elemental Heads for a while. Of course, I finally got to use one in this build, and then he he did this drop, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get this one too. And I've got several others that I really want to paint and showcase, because a couple of the other ones I have are just the base gray that needs to be painted. So look for more of those, because I, I, I get inspired by his headpieces, man. He, he does some incredible, incredible Glyos heads, and it just gets me wanting to build, you know, do a whole build around him, basically. Like, I would love to do a whole build around this guy. Although, honestly, I think I might just put him on an armivore because he just looks so good on an armivore. That squattier body and everything, I mean, that just looks super, super cool. All right, we're going to move this guy out of the way so we can just appreciate the brand new drop here. Just simply incredible. The look, the feel of all these pyromaniac demon phenomenons that he sculpted and built up. They look super, super cool. Super impressed. Again, big shout out. Big thank you to Grim Elementals for hooking me up with this package. I really appreciate it, man. Go make sure you support him. Again, here is the little website. Go check out his store. See what's left. See what you can snag with with this drop. Follow him on Instagram so you can stay tuned for more drops he has coming up. I'm hoping to see a lot more cooler head designs coming out in the future too. I mean, he really impressed me with this one. This one's super, super amazing. And I believe he still has these available. So go grab one of these pumpkin heads. That's going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, and if you stayed all the way to the end, one more time, leave a like on the video, make sure to subscribe and support the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoy the GLaOS content and you want to see more of the custom side of it with the custom builds and things like that, make sure to stay tuned for more of the GLaOS build stuff. I'm planning on doing more of those videos in the future. In fact, if you go over on Instagram at Lockdown51, you can follow me there and check out some of the other cool custom builds that I've created. And I also want to hear and see the builds from you guys, the community. You can use the hashtag LockdownGliosBuild on Instagram or your socials to showcase your cool creative custom Glios build, and you would have a chance to be featured in an upcoming build video on the channel. Shout you guys out, show off your creations, and then I'll try to re- configure it myself. Stay tuned for more videos. We're going to have some crazy bone content coming real soon. So we'll catch you guys in the next video.